Hey, let's talk about what I bought in the Steam Summer Sale this year in 2024, as well as, maybe more importantly, what I didn't buy. So let's take a look here. We can start off by talking about what I didn't buy, stuff that's still on my wish list. Pew! Okay, so... We got... Yellow Taxi Girl's Room. <clears throat> this one... I thought it looked interesting. It's got, like, the Mario 64 aesthetic. Ooh, it's gonna play music every time, isn't it? So it looks really cool. I don't know. It. I like Crazy Taxi, but it, something about it seemed really try-hard and just didn't appeal to me, so I passed on that one, even though it's, like, overwhelmingly positive. Lot on lot. So this is a game where you, like, clean up underwater. I had this mostly on my wish list for my wife, but I think I'd like it too, but just not quite enough to pay $16 for it at this point, I don't think. Planet Crafter. Oh, I might actually buy this one. I'm uh, recording this, like, four hours before the Steam sale ends. But by the time you see this, it's probably going to be over. But this one looks really cool because you start off with a planet that looks like this. And then you end up terraforming it and it just becomes like a like an actual world. So I think that's really cool. I might buy this one before the sale ends, actually. Snacko. This just looks cool to me because it's like a farm sim, but it's got kind of 2D graphics. There's another one on the list like that. Dinkum, I should buy this one. This is apparently like a really good farming game. I feel guilty though because I bought so many things already. And money is like a thing now. It's difficult to have lots of. I don't know. I have so many other games. I might wait on Dinkum. I could look on the Steam tracker. I bet it goes on sale like every month or two. So that's the thing. Empires of the Undergrowth. This one's new. This is mostly one that I'm watching for the future. So this is like an RTS, but you play it as bugs, and you attack, like, bullfrogs and, like, giant bugs and stuff, so that looks really cool. Uh, if this one gets down to, like, 10 bucks or something, I'll probably try this out, but at this point, I don't want to get it. I will wait. The thing is, I'm, like, a more patient gamer now than I used to be as well. I used to be all about those new releases. I was like, oh, Valorant is brand new, so let's play Valorant, uh, whatever other game is, like, brand new. Let's grab those. So... But now I, I don't know. I'll wait and play them whenever. Doom Eternal. Sometimes I feel like a boomer shooter. Sometimes I don't. But I don't know if I'll get enough playtime out of it to justify it. It's just so different than anything else that I played. It's been a while since I played anything kind of gory and stuff like that. <clears throat> Fishing, Paradiso. This is a game I've had on my wish list for like two years probably. But I feel like it should be like two bucks, not 13 I'm just waiting. There was another fishing game on my list that I deleted to. I actually went out and probably cleared like 20 games off my list during the sale, even stuff that was on sale. Like I think I took Outlast off my list because, I, I don't know, it just wouldn't be fun for very long, I think. Cornucopia, this is another one that looks really cool. So it's like a farm 2.5D kind of farming game. It looks sweet, but... I've got enough farming games, I don't need to pay 20 bucks for another one. Oh, it looks so good, though. Oh, I'm so tempted now to just buy everything on my wish list. Yeah, I think that one's going to be... I'm eventually going to play that, and it's going to be good. Paleo Pines, I feel like I should get that, but it's still too expensive. Coral Island, same thing. Coral Island is probably the better of these two if I was going to get one, but I don't... I've got it on the farming games. If anything, I'd buy Sunhaven because it's only 14 bucks probably, but I've got other 2d farming games to play as well light your frontier this is like you're farming but it's like in a mech looks really cool but uh 25 bucks will pass i'm trying to not buy anything that's more than like i don't know probably like 15 dollars anything over 10 or 15 dollars i gotta really think about foundry this looks cool but i already have satisfactory on my list so i'm probably let's actually just delete that one b island this one's really tempting for five bucks. Um, so you like build a base and then you defend it against bees and insects and stuff. So it's a really cool idea for five dollars. It seems good, but uh, I don't know. I just can't justify it. And then this one I just saw somebody on YouTube playing where you like build a, a town out of garbage. So it's like raft, but raft is like two. Oh, it looks so good too. I don't know. $21. Nah, I gotta wait on that. But that's something that I'll want to pick up eventually, too. But 
yeah, you're like building a city in the ocean. So that is what I didn't buy in the Steam Summer Sale. Let's uh, take a look at what I did buy. So a lot of this is for my wife too, because she's got the Steam Deck, and since I already had a Steam account with like hundreds of games on it, we just kind of combined them together. So Disco Elysium, Horizon Zero Dawn, Kina, Bridge of Spirits, Potion Permit, Little Witch in the Woods, Tiny Kin, Witchwood, Patch Quest. Those are all hers. Um, I wouldn't mind trying Horizon Zero Dawn, probably. Potion Permit I might try. I think she said Tiny Kin is kind of like Pikmin. So I might try that. I'll have to take a look at Witchwood. Any of them that are like cozy games, I'll try. But I bought <coughs> a set of Corsa, which is like a racing sim. I've got Gran Turismo 5 on the... PS5, and I really like that. Or is it Grand Turismo 6? I don't know. Whatever the newest one is on the PS5, and I really like that, so I thought that I would try and get into this, but I launched it once, played it for like six minutes, and it's just like so not user-friendly to get through the menus and stuff that I couldn't get into it. Truck Simulator, I bought kind of as a meme just because it is $3. I already have Euro Truck Simulator, but I wanted American Truck Simulator, so we got that. I played some of it and it's actually pretty fun. Even just like having to shift up gears and stuff. It's kind of cool. Apico. So Apico is like a, uh, it's about beekeeping, but it's like, I can search it probably. I can't see it because I own it. Um, Laid back beekeeping sim game about breeding, collecting, and conserving bees. I haven't had a chance to try this yet. Looks pretty sweet, but uh, it's gonna be later. I got other stuff to play first. And we got Geo Depths. So this one, I've been looking at it for a while. I think I missed it on sale like a month or two ago. So it's really cool. So you've got, when you're exploring, you've got kind of this, uh, I'm covering everything up. Shoot. Uh, so when you're exploring and stuff, you've got kind of this 2D thing where you like dig from an above view and then you get out of your ship and you go collect resources and bring them back to your base. So that's pretty cool. Um, looking forward to playing that. Uh, Chill Aquarium is just like an idle game with an aquarium. Dredge is like a a fishing horror game how do they describe it single player fishing adventure with a sinister undercurrent yeah so uh it starts off like a normal fishing game and then gradually gets like into like eldritch horror kind of stuff so that's kind of cool and uh that was like my first big buy oh actually i like uh so before the sale started i bought echoes of the plum grove if you like Stardew Valley or that kind of thing, you gotta buy this game. It's actually still on sale for the same price I paid it. Yeah, that's what I thought was gonna happen. Because it was new, oh, I'm covering it up again. Because it's like a a newer game, I didn't think it was gonna go more than 20% off and I wanted something to keep me busy for like a month until the Steam sale started, so I picked it up. It's really good, so it's like Stardew Valley, but you pay taxes. Uh, there's like disease, so you and everybody in the town can die. You've got to like inoculate yourself and stock up on medicine and stuff so that you don't die. Um, but everything else is like started kind of, yeah, but it's got kind of like the Paper Mario aesthetic, so it's really cool in that way. And uh, when your character dies, you have to have somebody to replace you. <laughs> Uh, so that should be like an heir. You can either adopt orphans or you can get married and have your own kids see everybody in town getting sick here so it's like and this anxiety provoking thing at the beginning of the game where you're trying to get like a kid back up like as a backup in case you die and until you get that it's pretty stressful so i was and the thing that you have to do like explaining this game to my wife was crazy because i'm like okay i made this like candy machine so that i can make candy to lure orphans into being my friends so that i can groom them into like being my heir it's like a really messed up lots of things about this game are messed up but that's what makes it fun it's like a cozy game but with like a dark undercurrent so i think that's really fun so i would recommend this one 
it's one of my favorite farming sim games. I feel like I can't put it above Stardew just because Stardew is so awesome and so much to do, but it's probably in my top three. So if you like farm sim games, and the good thing is that like all the disease and taxes and stuff, if you don't want those, you can also turn them off. But I played through on hard mode the first time and tried to do it as best I can. And then I also bought Deep Rock Galactic because it was 67% off. You probably already know what this one is. It's probably 67% off. Still. Yeah, it's the same price as well. So I bought this like a week before the sale and played it a bit <coughs> beforehand. Uh, you're like a dwarf and you go mining underground. It's more of a co-op thing. I don't really have people that I can play with because I'm usually like on during the day as opposed to the evenings or weekends. So it's difficult to like find people to play with. But uh, I did a couple of matches with like matchmaking just with strangers and it was really good. You can also play single player. I haven't got too into it. It says I've only played it an hour so far. I did like the tutorial and then two or three missions. So that was about it. But there's different classes that you play as and stuff like that. So that's pretty sweet. So we went through all this. Deep Rock Galactic Exos of the Plum Grove. Uh, as soon as the sale launched, I bought Battlefield 2042. It was between that and Battlefield 5. Uh, but I decided to go with a newer, more modern one. Uh, I don't know how I feel about it. I jumped into one match, like a 32 on 32. I don't know if it's called like conquest mode or what it is, but it was okay. But I don't know. It takes some getting into, I think. It didn't remind me of COD. I was hoping that I'd get like the same <clears throat> kind of like sniping experience that I liked in, uh, what was it? Call of Duty Black Ops 2. It was like the remake one like a year or two ago. I don't know. That was good. And then I bought Satisfactory and GoGo Town. I got Satisfactory because probably like two or three months ago, I decided to finally buy Factorio. And that was pretty good. I'll probably make a whole video about Factorio as well. But Satisfactory is like. Satisfactory is like Factorio in 3D. We'll take a look at this. So it's like. You're like. Whoop. Why is it? It's like a trailer, but you make like all these crazy 3D factory things. Like you mine iron and then you make like a smelter to make it into iron bars. And then they feed those bars into things to make more things. Uh, so if you've got like autism, like <laughs> this is like your dream, right? It's just to build like this huge factory. It kind of reminds me of Minecraft and then it's like super open concept. You can do whatever you want. And then go, go town. Surprising smash hit for me. How much did I pay for GoGo Town? Is this not on sale still? They took it off sale before the sale even ended. Wow, that's crazy. <clears throat> or did I pay? Wait, what? What did I pay for GoGo Town? I paid more than the current price for GoGo Town. That's really weird. Anyways, it's worth the full price. It's a. Uh, let's uh, take a look at it here. Loop. So it's a. Uh, the city builder, so I was kind of iffy. The music is also amazing. I would say the music makes the game. I don't know if I'd have as much fun if it wasn't for the music. It's really good. But uh, I was kind of iffy about it because it's a city builder. I'm not usually into that kind of thing. People compare it to My Sims. I played My Sims on the Wii, and I would say it, it wasn't like that, really. There's a lot less focus on people. People are just like a means to the end to get your tasks done and make shops and stuff but uh it is really fun i've already beaten it how many hours did i put into this i played this for like 19 hours since uh how long has the steam sale been going or when did when did i buy this i bought this on oh i, I cut it out of there i don't know probably like less than two weeks i've been playing this and uh, it's really good. I'll probably make like a Let's Play series just playing through it because you can beat the whole... It's an early access, so you can beat the like main storyline in probably like six to eight hours. So I could probably do like a, f like a four or five part series on it, I don't think. Uh, but yeah, it's really good. If you're into cozy games like Animal Crossing or anything like that, I think you will love GoGo Town, so I would recommend that. So... Yeah, what is, like, my top picks from this Steam sale? Uh, so far, 
I love Echoes of the Plum Grove. I played through like a year in game of that. I feel like I've done most things that I can do. Uh, Go Go Town is also surprisingly way better than I thought it was going to be. Those are probably like my top two picks. And then uh, I'm looking forward to playing Geodepths and Dredge. This is all my wife's stuff, but I'll try it out. Battlefield, I, that's probably my biggest regret. I could have probably just not bought Battlefield because I still have uh, whatever it is, Black Ops 2. I've only played one Call of Duty game, and it was the one of the more recent ones that I finally bought. Uh, but I got it on PS5, which is kind of annoying because I want to use mouse and keyboard. So I've got to plug my keyboard into my PS5. But that's what I think about the Steam sale. Let me know in the comments what did you buy? What do you think I should have bought that I didn't buy based on like what kind of games I have here? Um, and what are you looking forward to buying in the future? Things like that. Let me know. See you in the next one.